area of circles and sectors. Now, I've given you the two formulas and this has been discussed in earlier chapters. So we're going to get right into the example. And it wants us to calculate the area of the following sector and annulus. Okay, so the annulus is this shape here. And they want you to do it correct to two decimal places. We'll start with a sector, which is one we have already done an example like this, but we'll go over it anyway. Theta over 360 times pi times r squared. Just taken from the formula at the top right. And theta is the angle, which is 120 over 360 times pi times r squared. And r is the distance from the middle to the edge of the circle. So that's going to be 3 squared. And we just use our calculator, 120 over 360, or divide 360, either one's fine, uh, times pi times 3 squared, gives us, corrected two decimal places, 9.42. 9.42 meters squared. This is area. Okay, so we'll look at question B now which is an annulus, and essentially you've got to look at it as being two circles. So we're going to find the area of each circle. And I think what we'll, what we'll do, there's lots of ways you can do this. Actually, I, I need some room here, and I've taken up with an arrow. Let's get rid of that. All right. We'll look at one of the circles. Let's call the outer circle the L for large and the inner circle s or small okay so if i'm trying to find the lar the area of the large circle i'll use the subscript l i use the formula pi times r squared and the large circle has a radius of 5 so pi times 5 squared let's see what we get for the area of the large circle pi times 5 squared um, to two decimal places is 78.54, 78.54 meters squared. All right, now let's find the area of the small circle, which is, again, pi times r squared, or pi times 3 squared this time, since the smaller circle has a radius of 3. Now, pi times 3 squared... is 28.27 28.27 meters squared all right now what we've essentially done is we've found the area of the large circle and the area of the small circle and if you look at these two circles what they've kind of done is they've taken the large circle and they've cut out a smaller circle inside of that so if we're going to find the total area which we'll call a T, we need to take the area of the large circle, 78.54, and cut out or subtract the area of the smaller inner circle. Uh, so what do we get for that? 78.54 minus 28.27 is 50.27 meters squared. And that's done. 